the Hat Man. The Microsoft Zune was one of the many great ideas from Microsoft that they just let die. You may have seen one or two of these Zunes, but did you know that there was much more to Zune than just a couple of devices? Today, we will be taking a look at each of the Zune enabled devices that existed and what I think about them. Now, here is the family lineup. The Zune Windows PC software the original Z1H30, the second generation Z2F4, 8, and 16, and Z2H80 and 120, the third generation Z3F, 16, 32, and 64, the Microsoft Kin 1 and 2, and 1M and 2M by Sharp, only at Verizon, the Windows Phone 7 lineup, last but not least, the Xbox 360. Firstly, the PC software was amazing and still is today. It can be used fairly easily on Windows 10 and 11, and its design has aged like fine wine. Just, just look at it. It's still modern nearly 16 years later. So the music players themselves also look great. They feel great, they sound great, and are great to use. Man, they all just feel great to hold. Their UI is also timeless. And fun fact, their UI sparked every Microsoft UI design after it. This is where the tiles began, and Metro. Oh. Kin? You want to know about Kin now? Oof. That one is quite the weirdo. Yeah, so these things flopped hard and were not great to use. I mean, they barely qualified as smartphones with the limited amount of apps they had, and they didn't even have calendars until they were re-released as dumb phones after their failure. Those were the Kin 1M and Kin 2M. Rest in peace, my friend. You kicked Microsoft right in the balls with a $1 billion loss. Your work in this earthly realm is done. Now on the other hand, I love Windows Phone. Kin is where Windows Phone started, but 7 is where it got good. I love the interface of Windows Phone 7, and the Zune player that's built in is a bonus. Though in this first iteration of Windows Phone OS, there was a lot left to be desired in the way of customization and such. Windows Phone 8 fixed a lot of that, and Windows 10 Mobile nearly perfected it. Do note though, Zune is not on Windows 8 phone, or 10 phone. Last but not least is the Xbox 360. I can't get access to the Xbox 360 version of the Zune app for a proper opining session, but from what I have found online, it looks pretty good. I might make a few changes here and there, but I'd be fine with using it as is. While the app is long gone, all 360s still support plugging into a Zune and playing the music that is in it natively. Pretty neat, huh? With all of these devices sporting Zune and the Zune marketplace, it's clear that Zune was to be a device ecosystem akin to Apple's device ecosystem. However, thanks to abysmal marketing and planning by Microsoft, this never came to be fully realized. I know for a fact that if Zune had been more successful, the follow-up to Zune HD would have been a Zune smartphone. It's unfortunate that Microsoft made such terrible decisions with its brand and let it die in a whimper. But that's Microsoft for you. It's what they do. Well, that's all I've got for you today, guys. I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you all next time. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell if you want to. Uh, yeah. Peace out.